for the senator from Minnesota leaves the floor, let me just say, I could not agree with you more. My dad used to talk to my sister and me about common sense, and he was always saying, just use some common sense. Thank you for appealing to our better judgment and common sense. Thanks a lot. But Madam President, I rise today to talk uh, for a few minutes about three letters, E, S, and G. And as Aretha Franklin might say, to find out what it means to me. Now, as my staff knows, I am not a fan of acronyms or jargon. ESG, which is shorthand description for a form of investing that takes into account environment, social, and governance uh, factors, means very little to the average American worker. So let me try to make this simple and real for them. Madam President, millions of American workers are saving through retirement or already withdrawing from a retirement plan thanks to an employer sponsored retirement plan like a 401k. Each paycheck, hardworking Americans do their best, even when times are tight, to put money away for their future and the future of their children and grandchildren. It's with the hope that down the road, those weekly or monthly contributions will grow over time and help folks retire with dignity well into their golden years. And with some good fortune and a prudent investment strategy, retirement accounts can also provide certainty and, and uh, security so that Americans can enjoy their retirement. To take uh, the vacation that you and your spouse always wanted uh, uh, to, to make a charitable donation or maybe to send a grandchild to college. And those retirement savings often grow thanks to the help of something called a fiduciary who manages American workers' retirement money. There's a federal law called the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, ERISA, E-R-I-S-A, that first passed in 1974 but has been amended many times since to, to ensure that fiduciaries are doing right by American workers. When decisions are made on behalf of an individual investor, I don't think it's controversial to say that every American wants their money to go as much as is reasonably possible. In order to make the best decision for Americans' hard-earned retirement savings, I also don't think it's controversial to say that the federal government shouldn't be dictating investment decisions. It shouldn't. While the previous administration actually blocked fiduciaries from considering economic factors such as climate risk, I believe that's the wrong approach. Trump administration's unpredictable and uneven rulemaking led to confusion in the business community and uncertainty for investors. Now, let's be clear. A range of economic factors, including climate change, can impact investment returns and thus fiduciaries' investment decisions. The reality is that uh, concerns about our environment, that's the E, about the social impact of corporate activities, that's the S, and the corporate governance structure of companies and are all highly relevant factors in assessing returns on investments in these companies. That's the G. Well, I'm pleased. I am pleased that the Biden administration has embraced more of a free market approach. As my friend from New York, the majority leader outlined, I think in today's Wall Street Journal. Further, this rule reflects what successful marketplace investors already know. There's an extensive body of evidence that the ESG factors can impact markets, can impact industries, and companies. I know many of our colleagues are concerned about the E and the ESG. I am too. And as the chairman of the Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works, I know we can't ignore the E in ESG. The economic, economic risks from climate change are real, and they are significant. And fiduciaries must be allowed, allowed to consider whether those costs may well lower the returns of an investment or not. Unfortunately, our colleagues' efforts to nullify the current Department of Labor's ESG rule threatens a principles-based process that has worked well for nearly 50 years. We should be making it easier, not harder, easier for investors to evaluate the sustainability commitments from our corporations who want to do what's good for business and good for our planet, this planet that we call home. And with that, I call on our colleagues to join me and many others in opposing the CRA before us today. And Madam President, with that, I yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin.